Welcome to New Scandinavian Cooking. I am Niklas Ekstedt and today I'm on the very top of Norway in this beautiful fishing community called Kjölle Fjord. To the east we have Russia. This used to be the only land border between NATO and the Soviet Union. To the north we have the cold Arctic Sea. It's late summer and it's the season for haddock and king crab. Kjellefjord is part of the vast region of northern Norway called Finnmark. Though far removed from Central Europe, all coastal cities here were occupied by Germany during World War II. When the Germans were finally pushed out by the Russian forces, they emptied the cities and burnt them down to the ground. Naturally, most people around here have a very positive view of their big neighbor to the east, despite Norway being an important member of NATO. In this program I will cook fish from this wonderful region. I will be doing a Nordic ceviche, some crispy haddock, and then grill some king crab, and then finish off with a Norwegian dessert, cloudberries and waffles. I will now meet a family where three generations are fishermen, or hope to become a fisherman. Hello. Niklas. Leif. Leif. Jakob. Ja. Jakob. Daniel. Oh, Daniel. And these are three generations of fishermen? Yes. yes. Nice. What's the catch today? The uh, most haddock. Nice. Can't wait. So we're getting on this boat? Yes. Okay. Jacob, you show me the way? Yes. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go fishing. The fishermen here fish year-round. In the winter, they leave in complete darkness when only lamps on the boats, the moon and the stars provide light, as the sun doesn't rise for months. Many fishermen in the past have fallen into the cold black water and never seen again. The water is cold, but because of the deep ocean and the Gulf Stream, the water doesn't freeze. The line is 2,000 meters yeah. Straight out. Straight out like that. And then there's a, a hook on each. Every second meter, it's one hook. So this is the anchor that keeps the line on the bottom of the sea. So now, hopefully, we'll get some haddock. I hope we get a lot. <laughs> a lot of haddock, I hope. Here we go. Let's see if we have some catch. Line fishing is a more sustainable fishing technique and it produces a better product, free from the injuries that fish can get from nets. Fish has always been very important in Norway, both culturally and economically. <laughs> so this is a very sustainable way to fish, both yeah. uh, haddock and cod, with, on line. On line, yeah. yeah. Very, very good quality on the fish also. Yeah. Today Norway's fishing zone covers a huge area and the Norwegian state has taken a very important role in protecting the sea from overfishing. That's why the Coast Guard patrols this area. And that is also why the Institute of Marine Research is constantly mapping the sea, checking the health of the ocean and all its habitants. In addition to haddock, which we caught today, there are several other species of fish in these waters, as well as king crab. Look at that! Jakob can throw back the small ones. So they came from the Russian part of the Yeah, they the came Arctic. from the fjord outside Murmansk. Okay. They were put in the ocean in the 60s and they... <laughs> Look at that! Crawling Jakob. Watch out! So when you were a kid, Daniel, you couldn't catch like this. Yeah. And now Nothing. they're just crawling around. Now it's everywhere. They can survive almost everything. Yeah. Commercial fishing is from 1.6. Okay. And the best price is from 2.2. 2.2 kilos. And above. 3 kilos. 
three kilos. So that's a good, that's a good size. Very good size. Look at this animal. It's so it's extraordinary. It looks like an alien. Warrior alien. <laughs> In the harbor of Schöllefjord, fishermen deliver their daily catch. On a good day, and when the weather permits, Daniel can deliver up to two tons of haddock and cod. Every new catch is quality approved at the fish processing facility. The highest rating is marked with a little smiley. This modern facility also handles king crab and annually receives about 3,000 tons of fish from over 100 different boats. That's a lot of dinners. A great day at sea. We have some wonderful haddock and redfish on the boat, and I'm going to make a simple recipe. A type of ceviche, let's say a Nordic ceviche. I'm just going to marinate the fish with the crab as well, and tomatoes and onions, a little bit of uh, salt to that. It's going to be a great little recipe. So to help me out to fillet the fish, I have Jakob and Daniel here on board the boat, so let's get to it. Let's start with the haddock. Let's start with haddock. Yeah. Look at that, perfect cut. As a chef, to see someone fillet a fish like that is just amazing. See, it's just perfectly cut all the way down through that. So I'm just gonna take the skin off and then we will dice it down in uh, cubes. Could you fillet down the redfish as well for me? Yes. Yeah. This is a nice size. When you make a ceviche like this, you want it cooked or like marinated on the outside, but raw in the middle. So quite big chunks of, of fish like that. And then in the bowl, we're gonna add some lemon juice. Jacob, you wanna help me out here? One perfect and one almost perfect. <laughs> <laughs> nice, could you squeeze this into that bowl? How's it going, Jacob? Good. You can add a pinch of salt as well into that. Salt. That's nice. That's perfect. Two spoons of onions into that. That's good. Let's put some more lemon juice. And then we can open the crab as well. Just put a little bit of crab in there. Chop the garlic. These are pickled green tomatoes with cinnamon, chili, and fresh dill seeds. So we're gonna put some of that pickling juice into this liquid. And you can use any pickled juice here. It's fine with pickled cucumber or pickled vegetables. It's just important that there's some chili in there as well, because you want this recipe to be a little spicy. Okay. How do you eat your crab, usually? Just like this? Yeah, Cooked? mostly. Cooking on a boat. <laughs> it's like, it's a little tipsy, right? It's like you're a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna chop this down. Fish down in this. The tomatoes. So now this needs to cure for five to 10 minutes. Then we're gonna add the crab. You can find all our recipes on our website, newscancook.com. Okay, so we're gonna finish this dish off now. So let's just put the marinated fish in this bowl. And then we're gonna top it off with this beautiful cooked crab. A bit of dill flour to garnish. Okay, Jakob. Next generation king crab fisher is now gonna taste my dish. He's going for a second bite. <laughs> you like it? Yes. You sure? Yes. Give me a hug. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. It's been an amazing day. It's just extraordinary to see the crabs and the fish and I just love it here. Shellefjord really offers some spectacular seafood. The haddock and the king crab I've tasted have been incredible. But the scenery of this place is also majestic. It is something special about being at the edge of continental Europe. The northernmost forest in Europe is here. Old mountains that crash into the cold Arctic sea. The midnight sun and the northern lights. And a sea filled with fish and crab. This strange looking stone formation is called Finn Kirka or Finn Church, where Finn means Sami in Old Norwegian. The Sami people saw this region as sacred. When you come here, you must sacrifice something to the gods or spirits. Today, the church is lit up by night and serves both as an historical monument and an important landmark. I'm gonna cook this wonderful fish, haddock, with the gold from the sea here, king crab, garlic, lemon, and some pointed cabbage. So let's get to it. I'm gonna start off with pointed cabbage. It's a wonderful vegetable and really easy to cook in an open fire. Just put the whole thing into the fire like that and it doesn't matter, it's gonna get burned. That's the whole point of it. And then pan and some butter because we're gonna fry the fish with some garlic straight into the pan like that and thyme. And then this beautiful fish haddock. We don't use that that much here in Scandinavia, and I don't know why, because it's a wonderful, great fish. And I usually fry fish straight into a cast iron pan on the skin side. The garlic and thyme and butter will give that fish great taste. And when it's almost done, we just flip it around and continue cooking it on the non-skin side. And it's a pretty quick way to cook fish as well. Pretty nice kitchen, huh? way up north, and the fjords coming in here. It's stunning. Then the gold from this sea, the king crab. I've boiled these for two minutes, and then put some cold water on them to stop the cooking. And then now I'm gonna give them some color and some heat in the pan. And the butter is also gonna give a little bit of flavor to them. And as you can see now, the fish is coming along quite well and starting to turn white on the sides. And this is a good sign to flip the fish. The wind is picking up and turning this birch fire into a Norwegian induction stove. So <laughs> it's really quick here. So then flip the fish on the non-skin side. Look at that, look how beautiful that fish is. And then give this crab some heat. And then now I'm just gonna try to catch the pointed cabbage out of the fire and then put that into this pan. Hot, 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 hot. And then as you can see, this side is burnt. So we just take that off, put that in here with the crab and some more butter. Some lemon on there. And some parsley. There you have a pan filled with Scandinavian deliciousness. There's king crab, pointed cabbage, haddock and parsley. Just some cooked potatoes with this and dinner is served. The mountains here are sedimentary and crash into the sea. It is like a time machine to a forgotten time. When earth was formed, the spectacular scenery sometimes feels like a foreign planet. Hello! Hey! Hey, this is Liv? Yes. I'm Niklas. Welcome. Thank you. Wonderful to be here. And this is what, an old... Uh... It's a fish factory. Fish factory? Yeah. For... So this is where the fish came in back in the days? Yeah, it yeah. came in here for production for stockfish or salted fish. Okay, nice. So this is the original production line from the 50s. Fish came in here to be gutted and okay, cleaned. Okay, okay. Yeah. And what type of fish? I would say cod, pollock, haddock. Okay, nice. So big fish. Big fish. Yeah. And then in the production line it would be 
weighed, and the weighing yeah. was very important. Of course, yeah, because... Of course, both the fishermen and the people working here were paid by the kilo. Oh, okay, both of them were paid yeah. by the kilo. So there would be one man... Did they ever cheat? Did they ever put, like, stones in the... Well, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was w one man in charge of the weighing. Okay, yeah. yeah. What, what, this is a washing machine? Yes, for cleaning. Yeah. Cleaning. And they filled it into this and then onto the wheelbarrow. Okay. And then it was cut to the different kinds of production. So this was an important handcraft. I mean, yeah. the people that did this, they really knew what they were doing. They, was... ha they had a lot of knowledge about fish. Yeah, because if they didn't do it the right way, the quality wasn't good enough. Yeah, if you cut the head off in the wrong way, if you yeah. got too much head or too less head, there would be a lower quality. So these are the heads? Yeah. Yeah, they kept them as well? They were dried also. Yeah. And the market for the heads were mainly Africa. Yeah. And the rest of the fish was sent to southern Europe, like Italy and Spain? And... Mostly Europe, yeah. yeah. But also uh, ports in Norway. Okay. And then here you see on the, in this picture, they are standing outside working. Yeah. And they would do this till the well, late 50s. Minus 10 Celsius yeah. working outdoors with fish. Yeah. yeah. They were hard men back then. Hard men, a yeah. different kind. Yeah. <laughs> Made of something else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm now on this dock in this amazing fjord called Schöllefjord. Beautiful place where I'll show you how to cook haddock. So I'm gonna deep fry haddock. So a type of fish and chips without the chips. Instead of the chips, I'll make a salad of fennel, carrot, lemon and some mint. Okay, let's go. We start with the batter. This is it. This is the consistency you're looking for. Like lightly whipped cream. Perfect. So let that rest for a couple of minutes. So haddock, this amazing white fish with great meat and perfect for deep fried fish. This is a good size for the fish and chip because you want the batter around to be cooked, crispy, and then the middle just slightly cooked, almost raw, but you want lightly powder these fish pieces with a little bit of flour like that and then straight into the batter. Make sure it's evenly spread it out onto the fish. So just let the fish cook in the hot oil, 410 Fahrenheit or 210 Celsius for three to four minutes. All right. Fish is done. Golden brown, look at that. They're beautiful, crispy, nice. That is perfect cooked haddock. So with this, I'm gonna do some sides. So usually you do chips or fries. And I think that's a little too much. So I'll do a salad instead. And with that, mashed peas, of course. So I'm gonna chop a shallot. and some peas. Fry these a little bit. So those two minutes in the fire is gonna give this piece a completely different flavor. Okay, just a quick blend. And not too much, you don't want a puree, you want whole piece in this, so just like, like that, that's done. That's how quick that is. And these just back into the pan. So just these few seconds, the peas are in the pan and the fire is just gonna give them so much flavor. All right, and then we're gonna get to the salad. So fennel. So the fennel is a great vegetable. It has this kind of thick root in here, so we need to take that away. And I'm just gonna like cut it thin. It's a really good vegetable. And it gives such a wonderful smell as well. It smells of licorice. Okay, some carrots. I'm gonna slice these thin on the mandolin. Mint and dill. I like my salads with a lot of herbs. The carrots in this. A lot of herbs. 
and then dress it with some oil and some lemon juice. So fresh vegetables, that's really all they need. Some oil, lemon juice and salt. Then mashed peas, salad with dill, mint. You can hear the crunchiness when you're picking them out of the plate. <laughs> that's great fish. Now this is a great plate of haddock. This salad that's freshly cut with some lemon on it and the mashed peas. And then of course, the crispy fish. Remember, you can find all our recipes on our website, newscancook.com. Honestly, this is so good. I can't wait to get the locals in here to taste this. <laughs> what do you think about the food? You like it? Delicious. Yeah? Very good. Mm. Good fried haddock. And with this uh, mint leaves, it's very special taste. Yeah. Well, that was my fried haddock. Now my journey continues. Despite the fact that we're 71 degrees north, there's still bluebirds. Beautiful bluebirds. And I'll pick these for my Norwegian waffle. So if the king crab is the gold of the sea, this is the gold of the mountain, the delicious cloudberry. Look at these stone formation. They're so beautiful. Thousands of years have just formed this into this beautiful sculpture. So now I'm gonna make these crispy waffles. It's a very traditional dessert up here in Northern Norway. Two eggs and then sugar. And then regular flour. And here we go. And then a pinch of cardamom, a little bit of salt, and then we're gonna add some melted butter. Looks nice. A good spoon of the batter into the iron. <laughs> Maybe I was a little generous with the batter. Scrape that off. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. That's gonna make my mom proud. And now these beautiful cloudberries. They taste like a mix between raspberries and passion fruit. Pinch of sugar. And then some blueberries as well. And then I'm gonna add this raros cream, which is a little bit like double cream. Good spoon of that and just slowly blend this together. So I'm gonna put these beautiful berries in the middle of the plate. And then on top of this, we're just gonna put the crispy waffle like that. Amazing dessert. Now listen to this. The sea coming in and then. For exact details on our recipes, just go to our website, newscancook.com. Mm, mm, mm. So good. Well, I think this is a great way to finish off this program. The beautiful sound from the fjords and a crispy waffle. Bye bye. <laughs>